Tea Spanish salt. A tablespoon of baking powder. And 225 grams of plain flour, which I'm just going to stir in a few different additions. Okay, so that's it. That's our cupcake mixture. Using oil means that you don't have to worry about beating in butter and sugar and getting the right consistency. It's a really foolproof way of making cupcakes and whipping them up in an instant for a little pry party. So I'm just going to pour these into my cupcake cases in a little muffin tray and my oven is at 180 degrees. We're going to make a Swiss meringue buttercream icing, my favourite kind of icing. Um, once you learn the technique, it's really easy to make, way less grainy than when you're just sort of mixing together butter and icing sugar actually takes less butter in it than it would a traditional icing, so it feels a bit less heavy, melts less, holds better, more stable, we love it. In my bowl, um, I have got 75 grams of egg whites, which is about two to three, so weigh them, and 150 grams of um, caster sugar, so double the amount of sugar to egg, which we know is our meringue formula. So I'm going to add half a teaspoon of vinegar, which is going to help to stabilize the meringue that we're making. A pinch of salt. And half a teaspoon of vanilla paste. Okay, so that's what we've got. And that is going to go on top of a pan of just simmering water until we can't feel any grainy sugar between our fingers. So let's go over to the hub. So I'm starting off the icing in the bowl that I'm then gonna transfer to my stand mixer. But if you don't have a stand mixer and you're gonna use hand beaters, again, just do it in a heat proof bowl, so metal or glass, um, not plastic. And I like to make sure that the water couldn't touch the bottom so it doesn't feel wet when you're testing. And um, because if the water is touching, it's gonna to get too hot and you're gonna cook the egg white too quickly. So we're just gonna use a silicone spatula and gradually stir the mixture. Keep stirring so that no one part is ever touching the bottom until we can't feel any sugar between our fingers, which means that the sugar has dissolved and the egg white has reached a temperature enough to be safe to eat. In the UK, it's fine because we have pasteurized um, egg whites, but it's always better to be sure. Okay, so it's been about six minutes, and now when I touch the mixture, I can't feel any grains of sugar between my fingers, so now I know that we're ready to go. So I'm going to transfer this straight to my stand mixer. And we're going to whip it on high until it looks like a meringue, where it's really thick, glossy, and stiff. So I'm going to add 225 grams of unsalted butter now to the thick glossy white meringue that we've now whipped up here that took about 8-10 minutes. Uh, it's really important that you have soft room temperature butter but this can be a little bit temperamental. If it's too cold in your kitchen then you might need to heat it up a little bit. If it's too warm, which it might be today, we might need to put it in the fridge and then come back to it. But let's see what happens. So, first piece. Now I've incorporated all of the butter. It's gone really thick, really creamy. Um, it didn't split, it didn't need to be put into the fridge um, and it didn't get too loose. So I'm just going to switch to use the paddle attachment or you could just do this by hand with a silicone spatula just to beat out any air bubbles so that we get a really smooth finish. So the last thing I'm going to do um, to make this even more of a rainbow parade is I've turned my um, piping bag inside out I've got my rainbow colours here and little cocktail sticks 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some little stripes with my cocktail sticks of the different colours of the rainbow. And then I'm going to turn the bag inside out before we put the icing in it. Um, and hopefully that's going to give us a nice sort of rainbow pattern. So I'm going to start... Whoop! Lost my novel. So I'm going to start with red and work my way around. Look, I don't know if this rainbow stripe is going to work, but I just thought it would be a nice addition. Okay, so pull the piping bag up and over. It's really handy to use a tall jug or glass like that. So when you're piping, just apply gentle pressure from the top. Whoop. I just crunched them up between my fingers instead of bothering to cut them um, because they snap really easily and they taste really vanilla -y. they're delicious. So. I'm now going to mix them all together. Happy Pride Month, guys. I hope you enjoy making your own sprinkles.